what would happen if the CEO of the company would be able to reason about, like you could explain to the CEO what is happening in this part of the business that he just asked you a question about, right? What would that mean, right? So that's the kind of feedback loop that we are bringing with, uh, with this idea, with moldable development, right? So the way this works, you always start with the question, right? Then you apply an analysis, you interpret, you feel confident, you make a decision. Now, if you look at this, right, this is not that different from, uh, from the scientific method, from what people do when they do data science, because that's exactly it. There's no difference about that, right? You have a question about some lots of things you don't know about, or worse, you think you know about, because that's the worst thing, right? You think you know your system, but the system has changed many times because you cannot keep up. You cannot read hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lines to know what is the impact of that little change that just happened uh, 10 minutes ago, right? Made by somebody else, you don't know. Um, and when those changes accumulate over a significant amount of time, then all of a sudden your understanding is gonna drift from the reality and that's the problem. So this is the scientific method. This is not really new, but the essence here is what, what moldable development is about. We're gonna stop and ask for this specific question, do I have an appropriate tool? And if I don't have it, that's the key question to ask here. And if, I'm non if I don't have it, I'm gonna build it. 